fewer than 30 percent of Americans who should be screened for colon cancer actually come in for screening. It's a constant source of frustration for doctors. If you get a colonoscopy, we see a polyp, we take it out, 90 percent of the time you won't get colon cancer. Colonoscopy is recommended for people 50 and older. Earlier, if there's a family history of disease, the procedure is intrusive. Performed under anesthesia, a flexible scope is fed through the rectum. It's equipped with a camera and cutting tools. But there is another way to get a look inside. The virtual colonoscopy is basically where they put somebody through a CAT scanner. A virtual colonoscopy uses a CT scanner that generates a 3D image to screen for polyps. It is much less invasive and also much quicker, just under a minute far different than a standard colonoscopy. During a CAT scan, their colons are filled with air. The patients are not sedated, and the CAT scans are reconstructed basically like a simulator. Both screenings require intense preparation, using laxatives to cleanse the colon so doctors can see clearly. If something is found during the virtual approach, patients will go through it again. If there are polyps, then that patient is sent to gastroenterologists or to us for a real colonoscopy to get the polyps out. But this high-tech option is bringing more people to the table, including those who are at low risk. There's also a buzz about it because most of the people don't have polyps, so they didn't need to be sedated to get the, the colonoscopy. The procedure is also well suited for those who are too weak for a traditional colonoscopy or don't do well under sedation. The bottom line is getting more people to undergo this potential life-saving screening. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.